Good day, everyone. Sergei Mitelsky here, and wow, it's been a while since I put up something useful on the internet. Uh, you know, a lot of work, been busy. But finally, I got some time to uh, to record some tutorials for you guys. And uh, today, I want to start up uh, a series, hopefully, if you like it, of uh, quick tips on animation nodes and how to put it into good use, solving uh, very basic yet common tasks on a daily basis uh, routine in Blender. Okay, so first tutorial will be on how to uh, write our own tool for distributing objects along some segment in 3D space, some invisible line. And here you can uh, you can tell me, Sergey, but there is actually a distribute tool uh, in Blender, and yeah, it kind of is here and uh, it's very basic as you can see there isn't much uh, settings in here and it's not very interactive not flexible well it's just overall not good let's let's face it okay although it, it doesn't work and but we are going to use animation notes to build our own setup of flexible and and fast and interactive what's most important and to be able to reuse it whenever we want just uh, by saving it into a startup file. So, and just before we start, just a quick disclaimer. I assume that you already know how to install Animation Notes add-on. You know how to manipulate notes in Note Editor. And on top of that, uh, you have some uh, understanding of basic math, like from third grade level. And if you know how to, uh, how to calculate the distance from A to B, we are good to go. So let's get started. I'm going to open note editor here I have uh, a main tree animation note tree created and uh, it's just my thing but I uh, I'd like to uh, keep uh, sub programs and main program here uh, separated so I am going to create another note tree and call it groups and we're going to build our setup in a group sub program just to keep it nice and clean so let's create a group sub program here and as an input data uh, we are going to use vector, another vector, and uh, object list. So this is going to be our start. This is going to be obviously our endpoint for our invisible line or segment. And this, these are uh, objects to distribute. Okay. And here where the math starts. So as you know, to uh, to define an overall length of um, uh, to get overall length of our segment, all we need to do is just uh, subtract start position from end position. So uh, so here we have our overall length. Okay, or no segment length. Then we need to get a length of our uh, object list. How many objects is in the, in the list we are processing? So here's an output is integer and this will be 5 for, uh, for this set of objects here. And then, follow along, we need to divide our segment divide our segment by number of objects minus one. So we're doing some basic math here. We're just going to subtract one from overall number of objects. And since uh, we can uh, divide our vector by a float value, we need to create a new vector from this value here. Uh, and this is just creates a vector where all three values uh, are the same for uh, all three uh, axes, x, y, and z, will be this number here. And we divide our main segment by this value. So this gives us a length of a segment uh, per object, from one object to another along this line, okay? And then to get actual uh, locations for every object, uh, we just need to do some more math. Uh, now, uh, we need a list of integers uh, that stands for indices uh, for every object in our list. So we need uh, a list of uh, integer values like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Why it starts from 0? Well, it's uh, from programming. When we have a list of something, uh, the countdown of this object starts from, uh, 
from zero. It's just a, you know, a common thing here. Don't think about it too much. So uh, what we need to do is we need to generate uh, an integer range uh, of, well, it's kind of a list of integer values. Uh, and amount of uh, of this will be it will be a amount of object, obviously. Okay, with a start from zero index and step of one. And so we just need to multiply our kind of segment per object on uh, object index. Oops, uh, here we need to convert it to vector once again. Remember, we have to uh, to do a vector math. And last thing just left to do is to add, oops, is to add an initial st like start position. I mean, uh, add a uh, a location of the subject to start position. And here we go. Last thing, I mean, really, last thing we need to do is to just assign this location. Uh, to every object in our list. This node, I want to remind you, is automatically uh, works works on a list of objects, not just one object. Okay, so uh, five objects, five vectors, and just to wrap it up nicely, we are going to create um, an output objects node here. Okay, and here we go. Just uh, just a, a a good tone to last thing here is to wrap this up into a frame oh and huh, things I forgot in the first place to name this group distribute objects okay so then we we'll go to our main create an instance here and here it is here our uh, node that uh, allows us to distribute objects from start to end point um, to get objects uh, to animation nodes fast, I'm going to use objects from group and I'm going to group our objects and just call group some something like objects to distribute. Oh god. Okay, so I'm gonna select them. This gives us a list of objects, all objects in this group. Okay, this is obvious. And here it is, and they're all jump into a um, Initial position because uh, we didn't we didn't set the uh, start and position. So as I change these values, you can already see the effect. Objects are interactively and perfectly distributed along this line. And just a final touch, you know, just to make it more interactive, uh, I am going to add plain axis AMT here. Call it start position duplicate it in place and position okay um, I'm going to add an transform input hide rotation and scale just to keep it nice and clean and start position oops start position and position and just uh, you know just um, plug it into our start and end and now we can control this whole thing right in a viewport isn't that a distribute objects tool we deserved okay uh, so uh, when you're done distributing objects you just uh, delete them from group and well here they are snapped to a desired position here so uh, yeah that's pretty much it now you just uh, can save uh, the sub programs into your startup file and uh, use it use this uh, instances of this sub program sub program uh, whenever you want simple as that so for those of you guys who are too lazy to build this setup uh, yourself i'm going to include a link to this file uh, under this video and not just that but with a bonus for you guys to know how much i love you no homo though a subprogram which allows you to distribute objects along spline. It's very simple. You just uh, okay. Let's disconnect that, and I already have a nice little spline here to show off. And we just uh, select our spline object, um, define an index of spline if there is multiple splines in one object. Okay, if there is a one spline, just leave it at zero, and 
voila, our objects distributed along the spline. Isn't that sweet, huh? So guys, let me know if you like this format, because uh, I got uh, plenty of uh, this kind of tricks up in my sleeve to share with you. And uh, leave a comments or just to say thank you in the comments section below this video. Sergei Mitelsky here, and see you next time.